Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's video we are going to create these cool hover cards. So I've chosen these hover cards because I'm currently working on a travel website project. So I just want to show you guys how you can create the same result. So when you hover, you can see that the image is zooming in, that this nice drop shadow is appearing and this arrow at the bottom is showing through the mask and it's the same for all of these cards. What's great about this approach is that you can create a master card, master component for that reason, and then you can create these children or child components from this master component, which means that you can basically change all of this information inside. So from the image itself, to these stars, you can see different ratings right here, to the name of the location, a description, name of the days, you can choose different um, icons that you want to uh, highlight and finally you can choose different prices so basically you have exactly the same design but simply adapted for different purposes so let's get started all right so here is the practice file we are going to start with you can get this exact same practice file if you click the link below and join my membership alongside all the courses, uh, digital design products and mentorship. You can get everything inside of that membership. So you can do that if you want to follow along. So what I have here is 1920 by 1080 with this grid settings. So you can pause here and uh, look at what I have created and also have these components. So to get started, quite simply, I'm going to uh, just drag this card BG layer and I created it just in advance so that I can uh, easily start my work. I'm just going to click right here to see these columns a bit better, like this. There we have it, just for the alignment purposes. And let me lower it down to 10%, for example, or something like that. So what I'm going to do is start with my image. So I'm just going to drag and drop it right here. I'm going to position it here to the top. And let's make this in the center. So what I have here is this card background. And if I click right here, you can see uh, the settings. And what I have here is my image. So the image is rounded at the top. So top left and top right have a five pixel corner radius and bottom ones have at, at zero. What I also have is this star. So I'm going to drag and position it right here. Just let me make sure I organize things a little bit better. What I'm also going to do is ungroup this component. I'm also going to ungroup this component, but I'm going to leave the star as a component itself. So this star, as you can see, have has the default state and it has the gray state. So I simply created additional state to show off this gray state. And you saw that in the introduction, um, what you can do with these uh, stars. So I'm going to position it 10 and I'm also going to position it 40 down. So one, two, three, four. Then I'm going to use the repeat grid create five stars. So something like this, perhaps a little bit smaller uh, distance between the stars. 10, I think works fine. And you can hold your alt key to see distances between uh, your edges. What I'm also going to do next is ungroup this grid, hit control G, create this as a group and call it stars, for example. And let's say that this location has four star hotel or four star rating for the overall destination. You can simply hit gray and there you go. You have your four star rating. Next, what I'm going to do is type in Paris because this is the Paris after all. I have already prepared this as a Poppins font, which is a free Google font. I'm going to position it right here and let's give it a distance of 20, for example, like that. I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate it. Make sure it's Poppins 18. And then what I'm going to do is perhaps uh, bring it a little bit closer to 10 like this. Make sure it's 10 uh, from the left edge and let me quickly copy this text I already created so we don't waste too much time. Next comes the divider and divider is basically there just to divide um, these groups of elements. So what we can do at this stage is we can group this text and call it, for example, either text or description 
or location name or whatever you want to call it and simply position it below our stars. So as I said, next comes the divider. I'm going to simply drag and drop it right here. Then I'm going to move it down below. Once again, right click ungroup component. And I'm doing this ungrouping just because I want to group them later and create them all as the same, same component. You don't have to do that. You can leave it as it is, but I just like to uh, keep things nice and simple like that. Then what I'm going to do is make sure it's at 20. So shift bottom arrow twice. Select these two, click right here to make sure the divider is in the center and let's call it simply card BG. So it's nice and organized. What I'm also going to do is duplicate this divider, position it right here because I'm going to introduce some icons here in just a second. So first thing I'm going to do is drag and drop my icon, uh, sorry, calendar icon, position it here and let's see, make sure it's at, let's see, maybe 20. Let's see, I think that works fine. Yep, uh, then I'm going to hit T and type in seven days, for example, make sure it's Poppins 18, this color, position it here. And you can also select these two, click right here, and then I'm going to position it to 20, for example. So you can see the pattern right here, uh, just for the organizational uh, sakes. So let's drag and drop a plain icon next then train icon, then car icon, for example, and finally bus icon at the end. I'm going to dro drop to my uh, layers panel and organize them a bit better. So plane, car and the bus. And what these icons do is they are simply there to either tell you what kind of transportation you have at this location once you arrive or uh, what kind of transportation can you use to get to this location? So basically you can use a tooltip when they hover. You can either explain it before they go to this section so that your users know what are these icons actually. And for all of these, I did the same thing as for this star. So basically they have default state and not available. So you can choose whatever you want. And let's say that it's not available for this car. Finally, what we want right here is to distribute them evenly. So what I'm going to do is make sure they are 20 like that and position them 20 from here. I'm simply using my shift key and left and right arrows to nudge them like that. And let's group them and call this transportation like that. And finally position it between our dividers and position this right here. I'm going to call it uh, days, for example, move it right here. And let's see, this is our second divider. So let's move it down. This is our first divider. And finally, what we can do is group this entire section. But before we do, let's quickly move these icons to the center. We can position both of these like so this is 20. And what I can also do is come right here and make sure it's aligned with this divider like so. And finally position this divider to be 20 as well, as you can see right here. Hey designer, sorry to interrupt myself, but I just wanted to quickly mention that you can get this practice file alongside every course and product I have ever made in my membership. You can get this practice file if you want to follow along this and every future video I make. Link is going to be down in the description below so you can check it out if you're interested. Now let's get back to the video. Finally, what we have is price at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is hit T on my keyboard and type in from. Next, I'm going to come right here, select my poppins, then hit control D on this text and move that copy down. I'm going to select this and type in, for example, dollar sign 450. So let's say that uh, the price goes from that price, depending, of course, of uh, which hotel you have chosen, uh, what's included in your service. For example, do you have uh, one meal, two meals, whatever it is included inside of your service and position it 20 like that. So we have roughly 44, but I can also bring this in just a little bit. So 
or I can do it like this. So one, two, three, four with my shift key. So now it's perfectly 40 from this bottom edge. You simply extend this top edge until it meets with your image at the top. Finally, what we need to include is this arrow uh, for the hover uh, state. So what I'm going to do is use my rectangle tool, position it right here. I'm going to enter some values. So 98 for the height. And for the width, let's use 82, like that. And then what I'm going to do is make sure that it meets with this text, like this, because you can see it meets with the bottom edge of our text at the bottom, like so. Finally, I'm going to use this color. I'm going to remove the border and drag and drop my icon inside, like so. I'm going to select these two just to make sure that the arrow is in the center. Next, I'm going to go ahead and organize these a little bit better. So this is going to be arrow BG. I'm going to duplicate this layer, position it at the top, call it mask. And finally group all of them and call them arrow, for example, like that. I'm going to move my arrow all the way down and I can also group these two and call it price like that and position it just here. Move both of them below our second divider and there we have it. Now for the arrow, what we can do is select all of these, hit shift control M to mask it and basically just move this mask however we want. And what I can do is for example, move it to be uh, 10 pixels wide like this. And this is just going to be our first state. So call this mask like that. This is our uh, default state and first state. And of course, when they hover, it's going to transform. Now what you can do is basically uh, create all sorts of different elements inside. So we have two arrows here for some reason. I don't know why. So let's remove it. Let's see So mask arrow and BG, that's fine. Some glitch happened there. So as I said, uh, what you can do is you can make this grouping. So I'm going to group these so days in transportation, and I'm going to call it info, for example. And what we can do right here is create a group, call it a travel card, for example, like that. And inside of that group, I can create another group and I can include a stack. Now what the stack means, basically you can increase uh, the distances between all of your elements. You can do it separately or you can do it combinedly with your shift key. So when I hover and hold my shift key, I can increase the distances and you can see that the height of my card is increasing and that the distances are increasing between each of these sections, or you can increase or decrease distance of separate sections like this. And you can see that all of these are following. This option is fantastic for responsive resize. So make sure to consider it if you are creating stuff like this. So we can, for example, call this inner folder content if I can spell today. So this is going to be content. And basically what you can do is click on each of these sections. So for example, you can increase the size of uh, distance between stars and this image, or even better, what you can do is reorganize them. So for example, I want to position my uh, text above my stars, or for example, I want to position my price and my arrow right here, this information down below, you get the idea, or you can simply position this all the way to the top. So basically, it's all up to you what you want to do with this uh, section and this element. And finally, now that our design is completed, what I actually want to do is hit Control or Command K to create a component. And finally, click right here, hover state, call it hover. Inside of our hover state, what we want is basically all of this to remain unchanged unless these other elements are going to change. So first things first, we have a drop shadow included right here, which is at 5% uh, visibility. I just want to increase it a little bit to 8%, for example. So just a little bit. Next, I want to double click inside of my image mask, hold shift, alt, 
and left click in one of the corners to increase it just slightly so it's zoomed in a little bit and finally what we want is this arrow so I'm going to click on my mask extend it just to here so you can see when you click arrow BG width is at 82 mask is at 82 so that's basically fine now let's close all of this go to our default state click on the preview and let's see how it looks like so when I hover you can see that the image is nicely zooming in background shadow is showing and our bottom mask is there as well so there we have it this is how that looks like and you can also see how you can include all of these additional cards from that master card by simply selecting its default state holding your alt or option key and you can simply drag it and then reorganize however uh, you want with these cards so you can uh, as I show you in that example you can include all sorts of different elements inside you can include different prices different location descriptions um, you can use different ratings and finally what's great about this method is because this is our master component you can see that the diamond is filled in these are our child components you can see that the diamond is hollowed out whatever change i make it's going to propagate here to these child components so for example i want to make this card bg a lot uh, rounder so this corner radius of five let's say i want to use 20 and you can see that it propagated across all of these other cards so that's basically it for this tutorial i really hope you found value in it if you did make sure to press that like button and to subscribe to the channel i upload videos every single week on design passive income techniques motivation and more don't forget to check out the membership if you want to get access to this practice file alongside every other practice file i created here on the channel courses digital products along with mentorship and until next time take care